Happening right now, big talk in Austin over the state's abortion law. The Texas Medical Board is meeting as we speak right now. Larry Collins has been following this meeting and joined us now from the newsroom with the very latest. Larry? Yeah, good morning, Evan. The public comment section of that board meeting happening right now. It will be the first of likely several in the next few months. It's expected to continue now for the next several hours. In an odd move, the board actually adjourned the official meeting to allow for the first public hearing to begin and also allow board members to leave if they need to because the hearing is expected to last so long. In the official meeting, a lot of today's discussion was about what it means to define the state code and the proper process for dealing with complaints. No final decisions will be made today, and this comes after attorneys filed a petition seeking clear guidance for when an abortion is permitted under the rule of state law. State law does ban almost every abortion. The board laid out the letter of the law. Now they will eventually decide exactly what these words mean in the future. Here's what they are currently working with. The Texas Supreme Court ruling, which states that a woman who meets the medical necessity exception need not seek a court order to obtain an abortion. Under the law, it is a doctor who must decide that a woman is suffering from a life-threatening condition during a pregnancy, raising the necessity for an abortion to save her life or to prevent impairment of a major bodily function. The law leaves to physicians, not judges, both the discretion and the responsibility to exercise their reasonable medical judgment given the unique facts and circumstances of each patient. So here's what happens next. The medical board will publish the rule, then solicit more public comment. They'll hold at least one stakeholders meeting to get more comments. At the very earliest, the board will not make an official decision until June, but board members caution the decision may not come until August or October. They say they want to allow time for as many comments as needed. In the newsroom, Larry Collins, NBC5.